hi there welcome back to simple or difficult in this week tutorial we'll be adding a roof to our projects in revit okay um in few step i will show you how you can add this type of roof to your project models in revit so using the roof by footprint tool all right so let's just do it okay um to create a roof for our project model we want to first open the roof level because this is a level where we want to create the roof all right so let's go ahead and double click it in the project browser then on the architecture tab of the ribbon let's click the roof tool to enter the sketch mode now we can select a tool for the, from the draw panel okay for the purpose of this tutorial we will use the pick walls tool to draw the edge of the roof of the main building okay this will be a sloped you know roof with an overhang so on the options bar here set the overhang value of 600 okay and make sure the defined slope is selected all right now here is what we're going to do okay we're going to i'm going to show you a quick way of doing this stuff so that you do it easily because like i said it's you know it's actually easy to do okay so we're going to position the cursor near one of these walls okay a dashed line is shown indicating the overhang position of the roof Okay, now when you hit the tab button, it's going to highlight the chain of walls. Okay, so hit the tab button once. All right. So the, the then click to place the roof boundary. All right. All right. So this triangle shape that displays near the lines indicate that those lines, okay, those lines are slope defining edges of the roof. Okay. So um. The next thing we are going to do is we will create the roof for the entrance porch and the garage. Okay, this the roof of the entrance porch and the garage they are lower than that of the main building. So we are going to change the base level. That instead of going to the view, instead of going to the first floor because that's where the roof of the the entrance porch and the garage is. Instead of going to the first floor, okay, by double clicking it in the project browser. On the properties palette we can change the base level of the roof while still on this level the roof level you know and then create the roof while still on this level which is the roof level okay but to be able to create the roof of the garage and then transport the walls of this space must be visible in this view okay but then these walls are not even attached to this roof level so how do we get walls that are not on this level to show up on this level Okay, now here is what we are going to do. Walls on different levels can be seen on any levels when an underlay is applied to the view. Okay, so what, what that means is if you want to see the ground floor on the roof level, okay, what you need to do is apply the underlay of that ground of the ground floor to the level that you are on, that is the roof level, so you'll be able to see it. So let's do it on the properties palette set the underlay value to 01 ground floor okay so this will let us see the walls from the 01 ground floor plan in our current view all right so let's select the roof by footprint as usual we will be using the pick walls tool as a drawing tool okay this time on the options bar let's set the overhang value to zero and uncheck the defined slope settings all right uh, because this is actually going to be a relatively flat roof all right now let's go ahead and set our base level let's set it to the first floor because that is where the roof of the ground floor of the garage the entrance is okay so click on the base level set it to the first floor all right okay so in the properties palette let's set the base offset because we want to drop this roof down a bit you know we're going to drop it by 450 so let's set the base offset you know from the level parameter okay let's set the base offset from the level parameter to minus 450 the reason why we are putting minus to this 450 is because we want it to drop down if we don't put this minus 450 what will happen is that the roof will be offset up like it will go up instead of dropping down so always put your negative signs when you want it to drop down okay so now let's go ahead and sketch the roof boundary like we did before let's position the cursor near an exterior wall 
and then hit the tab button once to highlight the chain of walls okay so click to place the sketch lines now if your line happens to be on the outside part of the wall you know what to do you select the line you flip it to get it on the inside or you can use the align tool from the multiply tab okay so now we are going to use line drawing tools or the pick line tools whichever is convenient for you to to close the loop of the roof sketch and then hit the finish edit mode check mark to finish the roof so all right so let's open a 3d view to see the resulting roof elements you can see an interior wall extending through the flat roof we need to correct this so to correct this we we'll attach the walls to the roof so select the interior wall on the contextual tab of the ribbon select attach top or base and then select the flat roof okay now the interior wall stop at the underside of the roof and no longer extend through the flat roof all right let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other walls for this main building okay select them on the contextual tab select the attached top or base okay and then click on the roof and now all of them are at the underside of the roof okay all right so um that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so not only that ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials thank you very much for watching i will see you in my next video